नमस्कार फिर पैसा बोलता है मैं फिर से आपका स्वागत है वेलकम बैक टू पैसा बोलता है टुडे आई वांट टू टॉक अबाउट इन डिटेल अबाउट द ईवी इंडस्ट्री ए लॉट ऑफ पीपल हैव बीन सेइंग द फ्यूचर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इज ईवी एंड दे शुड कंसीडर ईवी इंडस्ट्रीज वेयरएस व्हेन यू लुक एट माय सिस्टर चैनल आई हैव ऑलवेज बीन एडवोकेटिंग दैट वन शुड बी एक्सट्रीमली केयरफुल इन इन्वेस्टिंग इन ईवी एंड आई हैव बीन प्रूव्ड राइट इन द सेंस दैट ऑल दीस न्यू ईवी फैंग बी स्टॉक्स इफ यू हैड डन If you had invested in private placement, you would have been in serious trouble. Even in a publicly listed company like Greaves Cotton, had you invested, you would have been in serious trouble. And I held my nerve. This is because, as Rajiv Bajaj, the managing director and CEO of Bajaj Auto, has said, manufacturing two wheelers is a very complex. argument it is not simply possible to assemble together and put out a product it requires selling dealer ownerships selling a ownership product what do i mean by that because the company has to finance the buying of the product most of the two wheelers are financed by their own companies in fact bajaj's own financing company has become one of india's largest financiers tvs has its own tvs credit finance so it requires a financing company where you sell where the interest element becomes the owner should cost for the person who is buying the bike so it would not be very easy for some newbie to assemble a bike and sell it and unless the plant bike is well known the bank will not offer finance on that bike because the bike has to run for 5 years and finally the manufacturing is not like writing a code it requires lot of effort before it becomes profitable ola made lot of promises and ola has not been able to keep deliver on those promises its particular one bike got into series of quality problems and the social media was full of them till ola recover recalled in some other form calling it some other name to replace the replace a critical part in its bike until now it has not been able to deliver as promised and therefore the credibility of ola also got badly hurt my feeling at that time was if you wanted to take a punt on electric vehicles you had to buy tata motors which was very successful in launching electric vehicles you had to take a bet on bajaj auto you had to take a bajaj on bet on tvs hero motor corp i didn't recommend to consider tvs motors because it was too expensive but i talked about all other stocks rajiv bajaj also said even aishar is capable of making electric bikes so at the end of it all it is the same set of suspect who will dominate the electric vehicles the main critical component of an electric vehicle is the lithium ion battery so when lot of people made tall claims i waited patiently we i asked you to consider and double down on excite and amar raja because they already have battery making experience they have retail experience they have a distribution network they have relationships with the oem and they will finally come but at that point of time not many were convinced because excite and amar raja had not announced any production mechanism for lithium ion battery since then a lot of things have happened in the battery space as far as vehicles are concerned i would still suggest that you stick to tata motors bajaj auto hero motor corp only the rest are all at this time very expensive if the price of tvs corrects one can consider tvs also but as far as battery and listed spaces concerned excite energy and amar raja are the way to go excite energy finally announced in middle of last year they would they would tie up with a chinese company to build lithium ion batteries and start manufacturing and delivering products by the end of 2024 to that effect the company set up a lithium ion battery cell plant at devanhalli industrial area second phase the company promised to deliver by the end of 2024 since then the excite energy company has got very confident on business prospects and wants to double the double its production capacity they have met the industry minister mb patel and asked for 40 acres of additional land this proposal will mean that manedar dio to a large and medium industries minister mb patel as i told you before currently the company wants to build a production capacity of 6000 gigawatt capacity in and is expected to begin production in 2024 excite wants to add another 6000 gigawatt 
plant, taking the total capacity to 12,000 gigawatts. The company feels that the total investment in both the plants together would come to 6,000 crores. Of course, the government of Karnataka has welcomed the proposal and has said that they will help them with the project. The initiation for the second project is supposed to be in 2024. Amar Raja has now got around saying that they will also make lithium-ion battery and concentrate on the two-wheeler market and they will not only give lithium-ion battery for starting the bike but will also manage power banks. Amar Raja intends to triple its lithium-ion business during this financial year showcasing a definite growth target. Currently, the company generates only 2.5% of its revenue from the TMN business, while the majority of its total business comes from lead acid storage battery. The expansion into the two-wheeler EV market underscores the company's strategic shift towards the growing electric mobility sector. The company Mamaraja expects to increase production through its upcoming lithium-ion battery pack manufacturing regions, which are the largest in India. Production is expected to ramp up by the first quarter of next year. The company is collaborating with various players for cell technology, chemical development, raw material to support its plants. Demand for from sectors like telecom is also contributing the, to this growth. So Amar Raja is now talking to global uh, players to ensure whether they will get a transfer of technology or licensing to develop these plants. While this is going on, Tata, 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 Tata Sons have also announced that they are going to tie up with a slew of partners from the chemical cell to the technology in manufacturing with different partners for various sectors so that they can build a plant. They are open to joint ventures or technical knowledge or license sharing so that they can supply material to JLR which is their subsidiary. So they have a capital requirement and they have also started to invest. It looks like Tata Motors and Tata Chemicals will be the two key players in that industry. So if you are looking at investing in EV, one should look at Exide and Amar Raja in addition to the other companies we have talked about. Thank you for watching. Praisa Bolta Hai. इस पॉडकास्ट में आपने आया आपने उपस्थित हुए इसकी इस पॉडकास्ट को आपने सुना इसके लिए मैं आपका आभारी हूं नमस्कार जय हिंद धन्यवाद अगर आपने इस वीडियो को पसंद किया तो वीडियो को लाइक कीजिए बेल नोटिफिकेशन दबाएं और इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कीजिए अगर उन आपने इन सब को कर दिया आपने इन एक्शन सब को ले लिया तो आप अपने दोस्त और रिश्तेदार को इस चैनल के बारे में बताएं और उनको सब देखने के लिए आग्रह करें नमस्कार धन्यवाद नमस्कार फिर पैसा बोलता है में आपका स्वागत है मैं आनंद श्रीनिवासन हमने बेंगलुरु की इवेंट के बाद इवेंट सऊदी अरेबिया में होल्ड करने की डिसीजन ले ली है सो so, 22 सितंबर को हम रियाद में एक इवेंट कर रहे हैं और 29 सितंबर को हम जिद्दा में मिल रहे हैं जो भी मुझे मिलने चाहते हैं तो और सऊदी में रहते हैं उनको रियाद में 22 सितंबर और जिद्दा में 29 सितंबर मिलेंगे जो मुझे मिलने के इच्छुक हैं वो नीचे दिए गए ईमेल आईडी में मेल सकते हैं और व्हाट्सएप नंबर से हमें संपर्क कर सकते हैं धन्यवाद नमस्कार जय हिंद